Good morning, I'm Matt Sizemore. The trial of Timmy Kinner has been delayed one full year and won't take place until 2020. The defense of Kinner, who's accused of killing three-year-old Ruya Kadir at her birthday party in June, asked for extra time to prepare for the trial. The prosecution is seeking the death penalty. Meridian police are investigating after several reports of, uh, were filed of stolen credit card information. It was a result of skimmer devices installed at the Jacksons at Eagle Road and Goldstone. Meridian police say they don't know how long the devices had been there. And because the skimmers featured wireless technology, it might be hard to find the culprits. Well, it's another Friday night game tonight for the Boise State Broncos. The boys in blue will be taking on the New Mexico Lobos. The matchup there is set to kick off at 7 o'clock. Sensi is getting into the holiday spirit and sharing it with Meridian. Tonight at 6.30, they flipped a switch on their annual Christmas light display at the Sensi Commons. This is no little feat either. Crews started stringing more than 700,000 lights in late October. And over in Caldwell, the 11th annual Winter Wonderland Festival hopes to get people into the holiday spirit. Festivities in downtown Caldwell are set to kick off at 6 o'clock tonight. Every year, the city of Caldwell decorates Indian Creek with nearly a million lights. Now, due to the size of the event, officials are asking people to park at the O'Connor Fieldhouse. Time now for a check of the On Your Side forecast. Rachel Garceau is standing by with what we can expect. Hi, Rachel. Hey there, Matt. Well, for all those outdoor activities, it will be cool this evening. Those temperatures, as we know, drop very quickly once the sun goes down. Before that, though, we have lots of sunshine once again across the Treasure Valley, but we do have a cold front and some associated moisture pushing in from the north. That could drop some light mountain snow off and on today. Very light accumulations are expected, but still, we need the snow, so we may see a little bit. It won't amount to much except for for possibly an overnight sprinkle tonight for the Treasure Valley. Even the Magic Valley, though, could see a light dusting of snow before the system is over and done with. It moves off quickly, though, so by Saturday, most places will be left with sunny skies and a brisk wind very likely will set in as well in the wake of that cold front. So even with a high of 49 tomorrow, pretty average for this point in Boise, you throw in that wind, it'll be a very brisk start to the weekend. On Sunday, lots of sunshine, highs in the upper 40s, and that really will be the trend all the way through Thanksgiving. However, on the holiday itself next Thursday, keep this in mind for your travel plans. We'll keep an eye on this system, but there is a chance of some uh, rain showers and possibly some snow in the mountains for Thanksgiving next week. But again, stay tuned to Six on Your Side for the very latest. And you can always check out sixonyourside.com for the latest news and weather headlines.